Uh, General from Utah, Mr. Owens, recognize. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, on behalf of the Westerners, uh, Utah is a remarkable place that, of, of uh, conversions and uh, connections. Uh, fastest growing state in the union right now. We have the Olympics possibly, inland ports. Uh, so it's gonna be very important that, that we have that conduit of uh, coming from places, a hub like uh, Utah. That being said, the, the FAA, has, uh, FAA has identified multiple time, time blocks where the DCA airport is currently under, underutilized. Do you believe more flights can be added safely and efficiently? Uh, to that process. So, so uh, our our focus on with respect to DCA is is whether it's safe. So uh, we're we're not involved in the in the decision around where the flights can go from DCA. Uh, so our, our our focus is entirely on on the safety aspect. Uh, it is an airport that is very close to capacity. There are some hours when there's some room for new capacity. Uh, but it is, as you know, a, a pretty full operations. It tends to operate at around 60 operations a minute. I mean, an hour, sorry. So it's basically one, one a minute. So you can't really squeeze much more than that in there. So that that's, tends to be where our focus is. Well, according to some of the reports I got, we got from the FAA, it is a safe, it is, there are blocks in which it can be effectively done safely according to the FAA report. Well, we will always make sure it's operating safely. Okay. Uh, if something suffers, it'll be, it'll be efficiency. Okay. Um, Outside the perimeter are tens of millions of Americans who deserve better pricing, better value, and more convenient access to DC representatives. I encourage and support the efforts to provide a consumer free market uh, to our nation's capital. I would really appreciate that. Uh, in my, my hometown airport, uh, Salt Lake City, is currently phase two of a three part, $5 billion development. Can you explain the impact of the delayed FAA uh, reauthorization to Salt Lake City at international and airports? like that are going through, are going through modernization? Well, yes, I think you're hitting on a, a very important point. These projects uh, have a certain momentum and they need to be funded and they need to operate under, under current authorization. So I think it's, it's vital that both of those pieces happen. Okay, I'm gonna yield my, my remaining time to my good friend from Texas. Thank you, and I 